So now the post lab. First thing is practice our dilutions. Concentrated sulfuric acid has a concentration of 18.4 molarity or moles per cubic decimeter describe how to make 250 cubic centimeters of a two molar solution of h2so4 so in other words tell me how you're going to dilute this and just like i did in that first slide you need to give me numbers and also the process mention when we started the process why do we need anhydrous sodium carbonate as opposed to hydrated sodium carbonate Na2CO3 is a dibasic substance, that is it can react with two equivalents of acid, why don't I use the volume at the first equivalence point in the calculations, and I showed you that on the previous slide in which I went through that pH titration curve um, showing it, so hopefully that made enough sense to you, that you first of all realized it was a dibasic substance, that you saw the two positions, the two equivalent positions, and why did I go all the way to the second one instead of using the volume of the first one? What is methyl orange? We talk about these indicators. They are substances. What's the structure of it? You might need to look that up. Could have used another indicator. Are there any other indicators that would have changed color in the desired pH range? And then finally, of course, calculate the concentration of the HCl solution. So a fairly fast lab, hopefully um, it made some sense to you and hopefully you will enjoy doing the activity.